Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party on, excellent, yeah! So, we've talked about the generational thing going on. I introduced James to Wayne's World Wayne's for the very World. first time. What did you think? I thought it was freaking hilarious. It was a great comedy to watch at a point in time where I was really like, I miss just comedies that were stupid to be stupid. And it's it's so much fun as someone who like barely knows essentially the lore of Wayne's World and just knows like all these iconic moments from the movie, finally seeing it and understanding what makes it so funny and genius. As a side note, after the movie, I had to go to YouTube and show James what a Grey Poupon commercial was. <laughs> I also had to go here, show him the intro to Laverne and Shirley so he understood what these references were. And I, knowing what the references were in retrospect just enhanced my understanding of the movie because it's the, the Laverne and Shirley, was it? It's, yes. It was so stupid that they decided to reference that of all things, but they honored it with such respect that it, like, I couldn't help but laugh. Well, because both of them take place in Milwaukee. In Milwaukee. I realized that I quote Wayne's World a lot. I like, never learned how to read. I say that often, and I totally <laughs> forgot it was in there. My other favorite one is a gun rack. I don't have a gun, let alone many guns, that would necessitate a rack. That's a Hilarious. Head. That's a separate head. I'm going to be severely disappointed. Just the silliness, the stupidity, the I love when they do, and this has been done before. Most recently, I remember at 30 Rock. Well, we don't pander to the sponsors as he's opening up a Pizza Hut box, as he's <laughs> eating out a Dorito bag, as he's drinking a Mountain Dew. It's like, this is hilarious. Yellow, different. The other part that was generational, James was introduced to Rob Lowe by way of Parks and Rec. A very, like, not uptight, but definitely like kind, caring person who's like a huge health nut. Like, that's his whole thing throughout the show. And it's interesting. I was introduced yeah. to Rob Lowe with St. Elmo's Fire, where... He's not exactly the nicest guy. And then Wayne's World and Tommy Boy, where he's actually the villains. So it was quite a different perspective to see have him see Rob Lowe in a different light. Very much so. And it's it's awesome seeing him as this like incredible actor who can play both kind of like this crappy executive and then go to someone like his character from Parks and Rec, where he's just like, I'm a massive health nut. And perhaps the saddest part is one of James' favorite characters was Garth, played by Dana Carvey. He has seen Michael Myers, Mike Myers, in other films, so he's aware. He's like, well, who is that? And I tried to explain Dana Carvey in a movie, and unfortunately, Dana Carvey really doesn't have a good history of movies. So I had to go and show him some of the SNL characters, um, just he was spot on on SNL. Some reason, I still don't know why, his film career never really took off. I, I wonder if that's just, Wayne is that character who it's like just doesn't really stay in the spotlight and has his own little side adventures. And that's in a way what became of his career. As an end here, fun fact, in the comments below, let us know who the major two-time Academy Award winning actor who introduced Wayne's World on SNL with Simmons, Simmons. Party on!